Okay, uh, it's still dark for the next, like, six... It says six and a half minutes, but I think that's a lie. I really wish that clock was actually, like, accurate to time. Okay, so we've got air on the way, which is good. I'm pretty much going to be tied to this for a while. Oh, right, we needed silicon really bad. Um, let's, let's wait for this last bottle to show up. Let's pull out our car and let's go, let's go driving. Oh, shoot, I'm about to starve. Let's, uh, let's eat some cactus. I've got the emergency rations if I need them, but I'd like to use the, uh, I'd like to use them sparingly. Just because, oh, hey, Effie. Let's see, I didn't expect to see me playing this again. I just needed something to relax. I've been going to the gym a lot, uh, lately. Uh, what the? Huh, apparently if you back, if you bump into the tire, it, uh, bops you out. Okay, anyway, I, oh, that's really pretty, actually. Okay, well, one way or another, we're gonna go this direction. Um, but yeah, so Effie was one of the guys I played with. Um, but, uh, yeah, I've decided to do this solo as a, as a thing to relax. Uh, I've been going to the gym a lot lately. Uh, specifically, I think for the past five days. And I can barely, like, move my limbs and legs and stuff like that. And so I'm just in this kind of, like, super zonked out mood. Up until, like, about two hours into my usual stream, and then I kind of wake up a little bit. Because, one, I'm super nocturnal, so the further I get away from sundown, the more awake I am. And also, you know, I'll have some time to kind of rest and relax. Because I usually go to the gym at about 6, and I start streaming at about 8, so I get about an hour of downtime before, uh, before I actually stream. I'd like to do it uh, earlier in the day, but I usually have to prioritize getting my actual videos up. Eh. I really, really wish this game had brighter nights. I do not enjoy how dark it is. Oh damn, there's some deep craters. Actually, this is... This is not a deep crater. What the fuck? Okay. Okay. Is this... Oh yeah, this is a deep crater. For a second I thought it was something... Um, I thought this was something that I had, uh, dug, and I was like, what? Where am I? I have no idea. Uh, oh, I missed. I missed hard. Well, let's get over here. We need to get a, we need to get a hover vehicle, honestly. Well, I guess let's get the bike back out. I don't have time to just be walking over the environment, because I have limited oxygen on this planet, and I don't really want to deal with, uh, suffocating here. Okay, so we're looking for the, uh... There it is. Silicon deposit. So we're gonna go grab a bunch. Luckily, I've got plenty of air for at least a little while. Woo, hi. These... I don't even see these trees coming up. Yeah, the... I mean, if you guys think my Pilgrim playthrough is... is, uh, dark. This game... this game just puts it to shame. This Pilgrim gives me, like, a decent arc. If I could, like, maybe... No, I can't really, like, zoom in. At least I don't think I can zoom in. Maybe it's, like, alt or control? Okay, I can kind of zoom in, but it really doesn't do, like, anything. Oh, well, it's okay. It'll be daytime soon, and then we can then we can move on. Uh, we can go back to the base. And honestly, I'm planning on having, like, a, a well-lit base and a hover vehicle with, like, mining apparatuses and stuff like that that's, uh... Actually got like a decent amount of lighting on it. All right, so it's directly below me. I'm just gonna go straight down. Eventually, I'll clear this out better. But for now, this is this is about the best I got. Okay. There's the silicon. Not to be confused with silicone. We're not we're not putting boobies on spaceships. No matter how funny that that mental image is. Okay. Oh! Okay, that that's an interesting question. So, uh, I use I use a lot of kind of weird collo colloquialisms, and so, uh, being asked, what does the phrase, give them a wide berth, mean? Um, B-E-R-T-H. It means give them some space. Put some space between me and them. Uh, it's, I believe, used for vessels. Um, so when you have two vessels going, um, past each other, Giving something a, a wide berth means, you know, uh, making sure that there's enough space between you and another vessel 
that you won't bump into each other. Or in my case, when I'm, say, playing the Surge, uh, enough space that I won't just get murdered. And stuff like that. So yeah, that's that's what that phrase means. I I, I always forget that like uh, phrasing is is such a not only a regional thing, but also like yeah you you throw like foreign countries into the mix and boy does it get confusing. I'm sorry about that. That's that's unfortunate. Um, I'd love to actually. Uh, I I really actually I, I really like doing this uh, specifically with German. I think German has a lot of cool phrases that I like to read about occasionally, um, where. Like, you'll sit down, and they will just have, like, a word that describes, like, an abstract concept that we just don't have a proper, like, word or phrase for in the English language, and it's... it's so weird. And anytime I, like, run across one of these, like, words or phrases, it's just, like, I... I just feel... I don't know. It's cool. I just feel kind of, like, in awe about how, like, weirdly limited language can be. I, my favorite is schadenfreude. Schadenfreude is quite possibly like one of the coolest phrases and also one of my favorite things ever. Um, that feeling of like kind of justice uh, whenever you see somebody get their just desserts, you know, when somebody's been doing something bad and they get, uh, you know, beat down or smacked down or, you know, get punished for, for their misbehavior, their bad actions, I don't know. Uh, I've always enjoyed reading uh, stories that specifically appeal to my sense of schadenfreude, and then uh, when I finally f found out what the actual word was, I'm like, yep, that's it. That is the word for me. I was always a little bit disappointed. I never got to learn German in any of my, um, uh, in high school. They only offered French and Spanish, which was mostly kind of useless, honestly. It's kind of annoying, honestly. Perhaps might as well are words that have no equivalent in your language. That's interesting. Perhaps? Like, might might as well... Huh. Those seem like such normal, normal things for me. I... Oh, God. I should just do a video on that. Maybe like a, a vlog where I just ask people. It's like, what's a phrase in your country and or region that you're fairly certain is like unique to you or like a phrase that you hear every once in a while? that, like, makes no sense uh, to anybody outside of it, or, like, is just confusing. Let's see, I'm just gonna dig this up. We've got at least a little while before I run out of oxygen. I don't want to make the trip to the silicon again until I've got enough, uh... Well, until I've got a hover vehicle, because I don't really want to make the trip repeatedly. I should not have dug nearly as far down as I did. I was just trying to, uh, I was just trying to fill in the ground a little bit so it wouldn't be, like, so, so, uh, well, like, bumpy on the bottom. Turns out I made a giant pit, and now I'm stuck in it. Well, that's okay. I guess let's just go until I run out of biofuel, because I'm almost out of it anyway. Uh, and then I can, ooh, I don't know how I can get more biofuel. Well, hopefully I can make multi-charges, otherwise I'm gonna have to die to get some more. Okay, well that'll be fine. I don't need biofuel that much. Plus, I could always potentially make a harvester module on a really rudimentary, uh, on a really rudimentary hover vehicle and just mow down some trees while I figure stuff out. Either that, or I think I might be able to make multi charges fairly soon. Biofuel is from seaweed. Oh, okay, that's a lot easier then. I was worried. I was worried that I was, I. I've never actually made biofuel before, so I was just, I was running under the assumption that biofuel was a uh, was a byproduct of chopping down trees or something like that. To some degree, I wish this game had uh, alternate resource trees that you could use as substitutions if you're like low on something. Hoosier is a derogatory term in St. Louis. I think I've actually heard that term before. Oh, that is a pretty sunset. Or sunrise, I guess, really. I've heard the term, but I've never actually heard anybody use it. I think I've just seen it as, like, uh, somebody, somebody writing it in a book, maybe? Okay, let's see if I can go around the uh, dinky forest of crashing my bicycle. Let's also eat a raspberry. I got a bowl full of raspberries in front of me, and they are delicious. Um, no, no. Now that I'm an adult, 
I can buy whatever I want whenever I want, which is a really weird feeling. Like, back when I was a kid, I'd be like, hey, can we get some, like, blank? And my mother would be like, when they're on sale. And then, like, three years later, she'd buy them after I'm, like, not interested anymore. I'd be like, I mean, I guess this is nice, but I really wanted them, like, a while ago. And she's like, you'll be fine. And I'm like, I, I guess. You're not wrong there. But I'm also still mildly disappointed. Okay. No, we'll do... Let's see, where's... Okay, my base is over here on the right. It's still dark on this side of the planet. The more I'm... <laughs> wow, the more I move, the further we, we, we get from the sun. So it goes back to being dark time for a while. Okay, we're almost there. Not that I actually can see my... Well, like his non-existent base, but still. Okay. So let's get that and... Oh, we're right next to it. Perfect. Let's start cramming in some of that oxygen so I don't have to worry about it. Let's see, guessing I'm playing on a single-player world. Yep! I might open up uh, an Empyrean, like, multiplayer server um, for people to, like, hang out on, but I have to fig figure the logistics out on that first, because eh, it worked with Factorio, but right now, not so much so. Let's see, can you make a series each update? Uh, honestly, um, I'm probably only going to make uh, a series on Empyrean every couple of updates, just to give them some time to develop. Uh, I like the game a lot, but it, they generally don't like change that much from version to version, and so it's always going to be one of those where uh, it's easier for me to come back to it maybe every six months to a year or something like that. But yeah, part of the problem is, uh, part of the reason why I haven't made a, uh, a server for Empyrean is I'd have to you know, pay for a host and stuff like that. And that's always a little bit harder. Um, with Mastorio, I didn't have to worry about that. Um, but this one I most definitely do. And I get Alt-Tab for a second. I hate Display Capture. I wonder if I can turn off Display Capture for this part. There we go. Okay. I originally had to capture this game with Display Capture, and I didn't like that. So I guess I'll wait for this to go. Uh, let's see. Do we have... Okay, we do have a bunch of cactuses around. We might as well grab those. I gotta say, they're definitely improving the lighting engine. They're, they're getting closer to making this an actually pretty game. I just hope they they go and uh, make the, the textures themselves look nicer. I will always be an advocate of hand-painted textures, because they always look amazing. Okay, we should probably actually bike over and grab the uh, the seaweed now that I'm thinking about it, so I can make some biofuel. Oh, I'll think about it. I'll think about that later. Let's see, how's this game compared to Osiris Zero, uh, Osiris New Dawn? Uh, sorry, I was thinking Horizon Zero Dawn. Too many dawns. Too many new things. Um, I would say this one's probably better. Osiris might. I I haven't played Osiris in a while. Um. But, uh, this one's had some more time to, like, cook, if that makes sense. And so it's had the, uh, it's had the opportunity to not, not suck, I guess. Okay, so we need to do, we need pipe, cable, electronics. Uh, pipes. I need steel plates. There we go. Oh, jeez. That's a lot of steel plates. How much is it costing me in terms of iron ingots? Not much. Okay. So let's get pipes, cables, electronics. I don't remember what the other thing we needed was. More cables. Reminds me of Cable and Deadpool. I don't know how many of you guys uh, pay attention to comic books, but... Uh, if you ever get the chance, watch the uh, Cable and... Uh, watch, read. Read the Cable and Deadpool series. They're really good. Okay, question. Can I make, um, concrete blocks? I need cement for that. Can I make cement? I can make rock dust. Cement. It just requires rock dust. Okay, so I'm just going to crush up all the stone that I've got lying around. I'm going to make most of the base out of, uh... I'm going to make most of the base out of cement for the time being, just because... Steel's a little bit harder to come by, uh, whereas the other stuff, I don't really have anything useful. Okay. 
That's a lot of rock dust. How much am I consuming? So... It's about 5 to 20, looks like. It's a fair ratio. And then I assume we turn... How much rock dust into... Okay, so... Half. Probably shouldn't do that. Uh, did I make the constructor? I did. Well, we kind of want to do this one way or another. How much does it require for a concrete block versus... Why is there concrete block destroyed as a, an available option? I haven't... That's confusing. Okay, uh... Is that enough? That's probably enough. Let's let's turn this off. Let's make some... Whoops. That's too much. Ten rock blocks. Uh, and then we also want to get a... Fuel tank. We need a fuel tank, which is metal components. Ah. Okay, and then we're going to need a small generator, which is like... Just a bunch more. Okay, let's let's get those done first. I can have this thing work on rock blocks later. Right now, I want to get everything down. Let's see. Cables, Deadpool, Cyborg, Butt Buddy, right? Yes, that is. Uh, that is correct. I think that's what the, um, the next Deadpool movie is actually supposed to be. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it. Which I'm really excited for. The previous Deadpool movie was, uh, well, I guess current? The Deadpool movie was, was fun. Maybe not exactly the, uh, the highlight of cinema, but it was a fairly, fairly well done product. Uh, as far as I was concerned. Oh, right, we gotta make a core, too. Uh, these take effort. So much harder playing this game with <laughs> alone, because it's just like, oh, by the way, you have to do everything... But I guess I don't have to fight for resources or uh, crafting time, so I guess it's not so bad. If we ever, if I ever do play this again as part of a group session, I'm definitely going to mandate that we, um, I'm definitely going to mandate that we do it. Uh, everybody kind of has their own constructor and feeds into it, because oh boy, trying to share one was torture. Okay, so four electronics, five computers. Computers are... Oh. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I did also start with a more difficult start. That was, uh... That was not exactly a pleasant situation. Uh, or this isn't exactly a pleasant situation. But I do like it from the perspective of, like... I actually feel challenged here. Starting on Akua is, uh... Too easy, maybe? Have the minions do work pre-stream. I mean, honestly, at that point, uh, I'd probably just open it up. Honestly, if I play... If I do another series on this, multiplayer or not, I'd probably open it up so fans can join, too. Um, I might even do that with this one. I might be able to port up my save. I mostly just want to have a uh, functional base before I open up the floodgates and... Suddenly everybody's competing with me for the goodies. Okay, so we need five computers here. Now is it, uh, yeah, it's one to one. Oh, there we go. Okay, so if I start with the core, uh, I'll have things joining me. Yeah, okay, so I think after, uh, after tonight I'll probably open it up so fans can join me. Um, it'll probably be via Patreon so I can actually limit it and mainly pay for server costs. Um... I think it would be kind of fun to have that set up for everybody. Okay, uh, did I, did I make the core? No. I have the generator. Okay, so we got the five computers. We need four electronics and more cables. And probably more metal components. Eventually we'll have just a proper constructor. Honestly, I'll probably get a whole bank of constructors. Uh, can we, can we actually connect things? together like um, Space Engineer style yet? Or is that still uh, not not doable? Because that's one feature I, I absolutely adore from uh, Space Engineers. The ability to hook, ev hit, uh, hook everything up and so you only need one inventory space. Well, I mean, if I, if I can't get it, I can't get it. It's fine. 
Okay, so let's let's start grabbing these. Um, uh, the other question is, let's grab the core. We got the blocks. Let's just set it to make uh, the rest of the concrete blocks over here. Here's the question: Can I make? Um, it's probably under tools. We need. No, it's not that. Miscellaneous? I'm looking for multi-charge. Unless I can already make it. Oh, I don't have any unlock points. That's concerning. Okay, can I just make them? Don't look like it. Alright, uh, that's worrying. So I can't mine anything. Oh, right, we need the uh, base block down. Uh, did we? It was paged down to put it further into the ground, yeah? Yeah, let's, let's probably put it like right here. And bam. Okay, that way it's kind of in ground and I can armor it better. The stone blocks actually look pretty nice. I might, I might texture them better or something. We'll see. Okay. Multi-charge is from getting the multi-tool. Okay. Um, well, that's rough. Oh, but if I get the biofuel, okay. If I get the biofuel, we'll be fine. Cause yeah, I need some, uh, I need some Promethean pellets if I'm gonna wanna have a uh, functional constructor. Okay, so let's let's just go diving. I assume I can collect my uh I assume I can collect my bike? What the <laughs> Okay okay no bike Ah oh, shoot. Um I probably have enough oxygen for this. Actually I definitely do. I I forget, I have I have the same amount of oxygen regardless. Okay, well that was <laughs> Okay, so is this the seaweed, or is there is there something else? Uh, or am I supposed to use the... Okay, well, it's not that, so I gotta find... Uh-oh. Hmm. I have no idea what I'm looking for here. Seaweed is hand-grabbed. Yeah, I figured as much. I just... I can't... Oh, wait, maybe that's some of it over there? Because it doesn't look like this qualifies as seaweed. And if it is, I can't grab it. So what am I looking for here? Go deeper. Oh, I see some stuff over there, maybe. Can I run? I can kind of run. God, if this game had Subnautica mechanic... Oh, that's, that's the stuff. That's got to be the stuff. Alien thorn. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, that's got to be some more. Probably. Pick up two times seaweed. Okay, this is the stuff. This is definitely the stuff. That is not the stuff. Alright, we got any more around here? Yeah, we got some things. Alien thorn. Some paraxoid? Whatever it was, it was worth a lot of experience. Nice. Okay, yeah, this is this is some seaweed. We're gonna be able to uh, make a decent amount of biofuel here. I don't entirely know what's required for it. Honestly, I really, I really want to make an underwater base at some point. I wonder, do they have an underwater world? Oh, I'm running out of fuel. Uh, fuel, food, Prometheum stone. What? All right. Um, I guess we'll just eat the uh, cacti while we wait. So what's this? Pentax- oh, Pentaxid. Oh, Pentaxid is warp fuel. Okay, so we're just gonna shove cacti in our face. I should probably figure out how to cook these, but honestly, they're just such a good source of food. 
Mine it for actual, actual Promethium. I can't. I, I, I've been out of fuel for ages. Oh yeah, Promethium is uh, Promethium pellet stuff. Okay. Kind of wish... God, I don't know. I, I'm just playing this and I'm thinking, man, like... Subnautica would just be so cool if it actually, like, went... As, like, expansive as this game does. Or if this game went Subnautica levels of pretty. God, if this game looked like Subnautica, it would be beautiful. Unfortunately, there are some kind of seriously glaring issues with this game that kind of prevent that. Like, the, uh, the poles issue uh, makes it, like... I, I don't know if you guys know, but you can't go near the poles and... Uh, at least in the current version, I think. Or in the previous version we played. The poles were these, like, weird warp geometry things that they're like, Well, we can't make this look good, so instead, nobody can go nearby. And that, that was just their solution, which I guess works. Raspberry. Okay, they are going to fix the poles in the future. That's good. Because that was kind of a dumb issue to run into. I mean, not that it really matters too much. I do also kind of wish that the, um, the resources in the ground were maybe a little bit more procedurally generated and they would just kind of pop up randomly. Um, if only so, I wouldn't have to travel so freaking far to find some silicon. I don't generally like to be like, I wish this had a mine Minecraft mechanic or a Terraria mechanic, um, but it would be nice to be able to just be like, hey, can I, um, can I just dig down into the ground and find like a weird cave system and find a bunch of resources there? Because that's what, uh, that's what Astroneer does and it's beautiful. And it would be nice if I could do that too. Wasn't them making the pulls inaccessible their way of dealing with the flat map on a round world? Uh, flat texture on a round world, but yeah, probably. Honestly, I would have just preferred it if they made a holy crap. That's just a giant spaceship flying through. Neat. Okay, let's get up here. Yeah, it's a spherical mapping issue. Personally, I would say, I would say in the future, I, I wish developers would actually, instead of making it quote-unquote spherical, um, I'd actually really just rather them make it kind of like a giant, uh, not an octahedron, but, you know, a, oh, there's the, okay. Um, okay, they don't, they don't seem to be interested in me, that's good. Uh, not an octagon, octahedron, something like that, um, but effectively just a giant geometrical shape. I guess a dodecahedron would probably be fine. Because I know you can make those uh, with minimal uh, modeling and texturing issues. It would just probably look a little bit funky from space. Yeah, a giant D20. I'm fine with living on a D20 planet. Wander suit is very blue. Yeah, I don't remember it being this blue, honestly. But, well, that's okay. Oh, right. I forgot drones might have uh, started spawning if I had, hadn't been careful. Okay, let's see if I can make some biofuel. How do I make... Ah, biofuel. Seaweed. Uh, oh, geez. Biofuel is way more expensive than I thought it was going to be. Well, this is fine. Uh, have I leveled up yet? Or am I still level 5? I'm still level 5. How long do I have until I level up? I'm close. Okay, well, one way or another, this lets me mine Promethean pellets, and that's pretty much all I need. Okay, uh, well, we're here. We're running out of oxygen. And yeah, it looks like these aren't actually using my, um, my fuel packs, which is confusing, but I'm fine with that. Also, the player has a shit ton of new customization on the main menu. Oh, I... <laughs> Maybe I should actually... Here, let's, um... I'll save, and I'm gonna go see if I can mess with my character so he doesn't look like this, like, weird blue mongoloid creature. I guess I shouldn't say that. Somebody had, uh... Somebody had, uh... Had, uh... Reprimanded me once for saying mongoloid, and I hadn't realized that, of course, it refers to Mongols in kind of a, uh... Not exactly the nicest of senses. I felt bad about that. Okay, there we go. Pop that there. Pop that there. There we go. Oh, and let's grab all of our spare building blocks while we're looking at it. 
because, yeah, I'd like to fill kind of in this entire area. I'd like to have a nice looking base. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it. I like how this game works off of, like, a sneaky grid. Uh, let's see. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to put the constructor. I don't want to rotate the constructor. I wish you could actually rotate the constructor off of a central point. Honestly, let's put it like this. Uh, I'm going to put it over the generator so the generator doesn't get blown up. And let's go mine some quick Promethean while we're here. Generators are hot. They will hurt you. Really? Uh-oh. I just got a warning. The drones are on their way. I am not prepared for this part. 